So here's the thing. Suspecting the sapwood. Here's the thing. So I'm five foot ten. This log's about five foot tall. Actually, where's tape measure? I'll tell you what, here's the thing is in a few seconds. So this sucker's two feet across. Well, about uh, 22 inches once I take that bark off on the other side. Like five feet tall. This log is, it's western red cedar. Soaking wet. It's one of those logs. I got... That's, this is the smallest of the three. And I got two left there. Sorry about that light. And I know it's not uh, the best. It's kind of dark. I'll have to make everything brighter when I'm doing the editing. But here's the thing. <sighs> yeah, I've done some big carvings. But it's not really my thing. You know, I'm so sick and tired of carving pumpkins and trees. I'm basically I'm going to finish off those two and I'll keep those other slabs for 2D pieces. I don't know if I want to carve. I made a post on YouTube. I don't know if I want to carve a big owl. Like a big owl. Or a fairy house village thing with different houses on it the thing is so here's my I got my older 034 here this antique with the car 24 inch carving bar on there or maybe bigger but I got my my 500 eye there with that big bar it's not a carving bar the thing is about a fairy house village thing I'll show you guys a picture I'll post a picture of here right now what I'm talking about it's lots of blocking out cuts, and I'm not used to that for big stuff. So, I think if I was going to do the fairy village, I'm going to, I tried drawing it out last night. Stand by, let me get you pictures. So here, you know, so kind of something like that. No, it won't look like a barber pool. And you know, when I look at something like this, this is very basic. Like that's only a one, that's only a one-sided carving. Like it's not all the way around. That's why I, I, I don't think I do that much full 3D carvings because when you're looking at it this way, that's all you see. You don't see the other sides. See this bottom one, like the door there? I could make it a boot. You see the pencil mark there? 
I could make it a boot. The, the whole other thing too is like if I carve something like this, will somebody buy it? Now I've been in a battle with myself lately about I don't want to carve to try and make money. Like that's not my point why I'm carving is to try and make money. Don't get me wrong, I love making money. But I think if I carved a big owl, somebody would probably, this wouldn't be a cheap carving. If I carved a bigger owl, somebody would come along one, maybe a year or two and buy it. Or do I really challenge myself and do something like this? See, I thought about like I'm just doing one house on the top with like a four point roof system. And then let me get a pen here. See, here's another sketch I had. But so, stand by. So say here's your log. Then you got a house up here. Let's just say that's the roof. Then you got a point coming off here and a point coming off here. And then make it so it's all hollow down here with like twisty branches holding the tree up and then you can make the branches kind of come up and kind of try and carve them into the house does that make sense to you like there'll be like a window up here and these will be shingles fuck i'm just gonna finish barking it and then um, i'll think about it so this log you know like this is something that I want to bring in to the tent over the winter and plug away at it in the winter and do some intricate, intricate detail carving. Like I said, it's Western red cedar. It's not first growth. Like this was on somebody's yard. So it's got kind of wider grain, but it doesn't look that bad. I live like, I've carved like two minutes away from the airport. So the planes are just flying like crazy today such a nice day out no clouds in sight that's why I'm here I wasn't planning on doing this so quick so this log I'd say is actually me my buddy my buddy Brendan he's my uh, buddy that works for the stunts Canada he uh, he helped me pull this log over here and I'll put up a couple pictures of him standing on the log just being the character that he is but uh, that red peavy that I got I showed it on a video you'll see we we had this uh, log laying down and that PV lifted this log up with two people of course so I think what I'm gonna do is I'll because I'm not good at I don't, I'm not good at blocking out with big saws like this I don't care you know I tell myself Jordy you should get into bigger carvings you're a chainsaw carver. Why aren't you doing bigger stuff? But then I'm like, my other Jordy inside my head is like, fuck that. Just carve what you want. You don't have to carve. I'm 50 years old this year. I just turned 50. I don't want to start getting into big carvings like those professionals do. But here we are. And this log's not even that big. It's not even that big for those guys. It's a huge log for me. Wait till I start carving this one. That big monster under that tarp, that's a first girl. It goes like, anyways, that's going to be, I want to do an octopus holding a ship, a cranking on that one. But so the roof, I, I sketched it out last night. So this would be the roof. Okay, so you would have a point here and a point here. So this is looking down on it. So what I have to do is cut. These are cut lines. Do cuts, a cut here, cut here, then bevel, then bevel, then bevel. So I have to do like, I probably don't have to do that center cut, but I'm going anyways, cause I'm not that good at um, this stuff. This, I don't know if you guys remember when I made the beehive, but it's a spider's nest now. That's all it is. I'm not even opening this back. It's all hollow in there, but I figured the, the sides are still strong. Right? This one I cut through it a bit and tried to fix it. 
but I'm gonna eventually cut this top peak cut this face right out and then um, it'll be all hollow in there and then put scoop it out inside there and then it could be a planter box it's just kind of stupid so yeah I don't know I'm gonna have to figure out where to set this camera up so you guys get the best lighting it's these these because I film with my phone and this is my old phone so the phones don't have the best lighting for outdoors I think anyways but I'll lighten it up when I said when I edit it so I think probably right here but first of all I need to draw on where I'm gonna do so this roof is gonna have four peaks okay that's what I'm gonna worry about first and then there's no detail carving today nothing and then I want the body to go in like this like that so it's kind of like a weird shaped kind of thing house very gnome friggin village house and then we'll do weird twisty things down here it would be nice to get this into my tent sooner or later we'll do weird twisty things down here make it hollow and um, see if we can <laughs> I don't know man okay so I got this all marked down to 13 there's like a big cross up here so what I need to do, let's get you a better view here. I need to cut this on a slope and come over here and this on a slope to get this peak like this. And I want four peaks up here. So look, boom, cut, cut, then the opposite on the, I don't know, just wish me luck. I, I'll tell you one thing I'm doing right now is I'm over processing it. You know what I should really do? I should just start doing a bunch of cuts here, there, there, there have fun that's when I do the best at my carving but um, this is going to be the way it is now I guess okay I don't have my microphone in but so I'm going to do a cut here then a cut here and hopefully I'll block this piece out I don't know if I'll do this maybe I should do one with the center cut first so then I can get a little piece out here then a piece out here I also put this piece of wood up in here so I know when I'm in the center of the log when my bar, tip of the bar hits this I got to put my chops on now and uh, my hearing protection in and um, wish me luck I'm over processing and I know I am the ferry houses villages there's nothing perfect on them everything's warped and twisted so I'm way over processing it and I didn't ma I made some of these lower and uh, some of these higher so it's kind of a different thing so this will have four peaks all the way around it
I gotta sharpen my saw. Okay, I'll finish this and then I'll clean it up with my smaller saw. In there. Clean that up after. I got all the saws out today, not all of them, but uh, all right. Now I can start having some fun. Um, bad cut Johnson right here, no big deal. 
it uh, worked out pretty good. Bad cut a little bit deep. I'm going to clean this all up with my other saw. Let's give you a wider view. This is actually pretty nice cedar. No complaints. The sap wood's good, so I'm going to keep it on. Unless I cut it off. Give you the walk around here. So, there's the bad view there. Now, what do I want to do? Like, I'm not going to cut the shingles in here. I'll wait till it wait till it dries out and I get it in the shop and I can do fine detail cuts in here. I think because I want this thing to be like, um, well, <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, it's got to have fascia boards. Or I could get the roof to, to fold around. So let's make them a bit bigger. Because I can round these roofs off. Make it look like the shingles are um, like a wrap dormer. i actually done some shake roofs like that where you have to steam the shakes and bend them around the corner. Also this here, the center. You can see here, I cut it a little bit thin here. See how it's shorter? Who cares? I might make the this roof like this. So once I do that cut, it's going to be thicker again there. But uh, I'm just doing, you know, a problem that I had last night when I was thinking about it in the last couple of days processing it. The problem I was having is I was looking at other people's art. Yeah, it gives you ideas. But then I was thinking to myself, there's no freaking way I can do that. You know, you can even get a solar light for it later here to put in the middle. So I think I kind of like those uh, peaks like that. So now... What saw am I going to use? I think today I'll just focus on the roof. I think I'm going to try and fire up my uh, little... This saw doesn't run very good, but I'm going to sharpen this chain. This is my little one ninth. Let's go in here. It's my little one nine three rear handle. Okay. Uh, steel MS193C. This is an arbor saw, but I got I ordered the one with the rear handle. And uh, it's got a steel dime tip carving bar on there. Like I said, this saw doesn't run that good, but it um, needs a tune-up, I think. I had two of these. I think the other one's uh, kaput. What I'm going to do with that saw now is I'll probably do these cuts. Like I could come from this side, go like this at a real pitch, like this. But I could come over here. And do the same thing but what I'm gonna do in here is cut deep inside here probably like I want these faces to stick far off because I want to take this tree inside really deep I haven't decided if I'm gonna wrap these shingles around or just keep, keep these like I could do this so the shingles will be up here then this is the fascia board, right? So the shingles would stick off the fascia board. I haven't decided that much yet. I'm just going to block this out today. I'm not going to do any detail because I want to process and see how, see how much time I actually do want to spend on this piece. This log is probably about, I'd say, 1,200, 1,200 pounds, 
só. Got a knot right here. Um, well, this sinks still a thousand pounds easy, but it is a little bit lighter now. Um, when I was cutting this, after I cut in my straight cuts for the roof for the fascias, and then I started cutting out in here, and I thought to myself, "Oh boy, I sure, I sure screwed this up." Cause I cut too deep in there and I was, and I was thinking to myself and I was like, when I was just trying to work through it, it's like, hold on a second here. You tell everybody to carve deeper. And, uh, remember Ryan Cook and Kevin Lewis told me one time says always, if you doubt yourself, Jordy, always carve deeper. So I was like, that's fine. I'm going to have different, because I wanted to have this house kind of square like this, you know, kind of odd shape, but now it's going to be kind of, um, I guess, round. I'm not too sure yet. I'm done for today. I'm done for today. So then I can take a picture of this, go home, look at it, um, send it to a few friends, ask them what they think I should do. I think maybe kind of like um, from the base here, kind of like maybe like um tree trunk make it look like a tree trunk and then the uh, branches are growing around kind of like fine branches are growing around the house so like 
then I could put an owl or a wood spirit on the tree trunk. Not a wood spirit, but maybe an owl. So yeah, never done, and always, you know, like I had no confidence looking at those pictures of other people's art. And they're like, I'm going to say, excuse me, bless me. And another thing too, I just thought of when I was thinking of when I was doing this, cutting it so deep. Now I can give these roof fascia boards or whatever, if they're bendy roof, now I can give them shape and cut more off and stuff. But like, um, when you got the chainsaws in your hand, I had my chaps out, I had earring, hearing protection in. Man, that air, there's tons of airplanes today. It's such a beautiful day. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the video. But I said, forget it. I'm gonna do what I wanna do and I don't care what anybody thinks or says or does or what other people do. But be confident when you, when you have that chainsaw in your hand and always know that chainsaw is in your hand and it is able to rip half of your face off and cut through the bone right into your brain. That sounds brutal, but it's true. So always make sure when you got that chainsaw and you're doing a cut here, don't stand right here. So this pretend this is your chainsaw, this is a blade, okay? The engine blade. Don't stand right in front of it. So if it kicks back, boom, always go like this, stand off. If you got to peek over, peek, you'll, you'll see me I go like this, I peek over and it goes like this. I'd much rather have it hit your shoulder than your face. Just be confident. Of all your safety gear, your chaps. Um, if you want to wear gloves, I don't wear gloves. Um, ear, ear protection, like earplugs or iPods, whatever. Earbuds and uh, eye protection. If I had a hard hat here, when I was doing these cuts, I would have put the hard hat on. I think I'm going to buy one. Just when you're up high, I don't like cutting up. I don't like cutting face level. I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not comfortable with it. But I have to be, what's the word again? I forget, I don't know, whatever. So yeah, these are all the pieces. And another thing too, this uh, water wood, I'm gonna get the camera off the tripod. This video is gonna end here. It's Friday and it's Thanksgiving here in uh, Canada. What can I, hold on a second, stand by. Sorry, I had to make the screen brighter, so. All these cutoffs, got to clean up this. Got to clean up all around here because, well, it's dry now. If it rains, the stuff will get wet, wetter and get heavier. So let's give you the, what the hell? I can't even see the screen, it's so sunny out. See, so now I can give these movement. I can do some cuts in here and make them like, this, what I was saying, I know I'm getting carried away, but this is the sapwood, this white wood here. Or the water wood, it, retours, it, re, it retains lots of the water for the tree when it's living. And here's the hardwood, you can see the color difference. Sorry, I can barely see the screen. Hardwood, sapwood, or water wood. Now, I usually take this wood off because this is where the, for this western red cedar, um, bugs do go into this water wood. But this stuff is solid. It's as solid as the hardwood. So I'm leaving it on. And when I put the final wood finish on it, you'll get some different colors in the cedar, right? You get the darker stuff than the brighter stuff. Some pro carvers might be like, no, 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 you got to cut that off. I'm like, no, 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 it's going to have four coats of CETOL on it. How will that rot with the CETOL on it when I'm done with it next spring or summer? Got these sloped. I spent some time. I got to scoop in here more. I want this roof to have lots of movement, right? Like, this is just the very, very, very start. I want this to be my best piece when I'm done it. Well, maybe not my best, but that's not hard to beat. <laughs> so that's it, everybody. I'm going to clean up now and uh, get out of here. And uh, we'll see what the weather's going to do tomorrow. Oh, also, what I do... So here's the center of the tree right here. This on screen. Center of the tree is right here. Where's that board? I got this board. 
just put that over there because that will block the sun from getting on it and um, cracking less. All right. I don't know if it's going to get windy, it will blow off, but whatever. What do you guys think so far? Love to hear your suggestions, things I could do, and um, your input. I love reading the comments. Don't forget to give this video a like. That's if you like the video. Thanks. Carbon Fusion. Over and out.